Well, your intrepid reporter has been delving deeply into a bygone era of railroading in the Northumberland region in the United Kingdom. With a virtual cab ride along the now abandoned Rothbury branch line. And wasn't there a lot of model worthy material discovered? Here's the problem. How now do you transfer all of this into this? There's more than enough to fill a double garage or just enough inspiration to build that tiny shelf layout. Hmm. So let's have one last look at the Rothbury branch line. Using Rail Modeler Pro for Mac, I actually developed two track plans for the Rothbury branch line in early 2019. However, I've since updated and modified greatly the plans shown here, particularly the single garage plan. Essentially, the benchwork around the outside of the garage would be about 60 centimetres or two foot wide as a minimum. The track around the outside shown in orange represents the single track branch line between Scotts Gap and Rossbury. For modelling purposes, it's suitable for point to point operations. The staging area shown on the left hand side here is designed for continuous running on the Wani line, which is the yellow one. And there's a reversing loop in there as well, so the trains can go back from whence they came, <laughs> and not just go around in circles. Now the island peninsula, which has an unfortunate looking shape, uh, is designed for more continuous running options, with a whole heap of station plans and so on presented. So let's go on a tour, another one, and as usual, we'll start at Scotts Gap Junction. Now please feel free to hit the pause button to have a closer look at these plans. But remember, you can download them all. Check the link in the description. Before we move on to the next view, I better account for that blank space on the right hand side there. That's where Middleton Station is. It's the next station to the east of Scotts Gap, heading up the line towards Morpeth. We'll come back to Middleton later, but firstly, we're headed down the line towards Rothbury. And the first station you come to is Longwidden. Now, I know I made a big thing about the Rothley Lakes in my virtual cab ride, but there just ain't enough space to include everything, so the lakes aren't shown. And even when using a garage, there's still not enough space to include all the stations. Which is why you could include Usley Station here instead of Longwitton. Next up, and probably the must-have, is Fontburn Viaduct, Fontburn Reservoir and of course Fontburn Halt. Being in a single garage, we're quickly running out of space. And Rothbury Station takes up an awful lot of that, so we'll just cut straight to the chase. Now, if you've done my virtual tour, you'd realise that we've left out an awful lot of stuff. This is the problem. Even in a single garage or a double garage, you just don't have the space, so you've got to decide what you can and can't include. One thing you do have to include on a large layout is a fiddle yard or a staging area. On my original plan, I had the fiddle yard hidden in the space just under Usley, but I decided it was more useful if it was visible. To see what happens here, take a look at those two yellow tracks that are coming in from the right hand side. First one says down to Reedsmouth, so that's what we've got, a down passenger service arriving at Reedsmouth station. What can you do with it here? Well, you could simply run it through the loop for continuous running, or you could detach the loco, do a run around in the yard, and put it at the other end of the train for the return up journey to Morpeth. The trouble with that is, is that the steam logo is going backwards quite a distance, which is not particularly realistic, because you see they did have a turntable here at Reedsmouth, and I really can't see enough space to put a turntable in here. But what we can do, is switch the track polarity here, go around that loop, 
and arrive back at Reedsmouth Station as the up passenger to Morpeth. And now it's going in the right direction, on the right line. And an hour or so later, our train is looking for Morpeth. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Right, now, safely home. Journey done. This whole little fiddle yard area could be quite a busy place. And so far we've only gone around the outside walls of the room and it all works. Amazing. To be honest, I'd probably develop that part of the track plan first. And then time, money, inspiration, etc. permitting, I'd consider working on the peninsula. But first, to get onto the peninsula, you need an entry point. And that starts just back up towards Scotts Gap and gains enough height so we can get over the fiddle yard tracks onto the peninsula. And because we're heading west from Scotts Gap, the next station we'll come to is Nailsgate. And then Woodburn. And then very cleverly back to Reedsmouth in our staging area. I suppose you could send a train up and around to the right, but you know, it's like down meets up and Gomez Adams would be very proud of you, but it just doesn't make sense. Watch it, Tish. Watch it. So just then we looked at stations on the western or down side of Scotts Gap on the Wanig line. Let's have another look at the peninsula this time coming from the upside, heading towards Morpeth. We already visited Middleton a little earlier on, so the next station on the Morpeth side is Angerton. And then, beautiful downtown Melden. And finally, well, you arrive at Morpeth, of course. Now originally I'd planned that that staging area was just going to represent Morpeth and Reedsmouth Junction, and I wasn't going to include track plans for them. But, you know, what the heck. Let's have a look at the track plans then for Reedsmouth Junction. And of course, Morpeth, which is quite intriguing. Morpeth's on the double track East Coast Main Line from London right through to Edinburgh in Scotland. It's also the junction for the Blind Tyne Railroad. Plenty of modelling opportunities here. And although I compressed the approaches a little bit, it's still quite a reasonable plan if you just wanted to model one station. And of course the double track East Coast Main Line continues south towards Newcastle, which we've included as well. Sort of. And the really fun thing? Well there's four possible combinations there. All up to you. Pick and choose. You're welcome. So there you have it. The Rothbury Branch Line point to point running around the edges in gold. A staging area provides continuous running, a crossover and return loop, along with a heap of variations for more continuous running using the Central Peninsula. And finally, yeah, yeah, yeah I know I said finally earlier, but finally, finally, the double garage plan. Now this is something that I haven't really modified much since it was originally drawn. But there's enough here to give you even more ideas and inspiration on what you could do if you had all of this extra space. Now remember, the funny thing is, I don't. I don't have a garage at all. In fact, the space I have available 
is a two by five and a half foot shelf. Hmm. Oh, we live in interesting times. Anyway, I think what I'll just do is let the music accompany this tour of the Rothby Branch Line. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my virtual cab ride and my tour and my track plans of the Rothbury Branch Line in rural Northumberland in the UK. It's a beautiful area. The scenery should be fairly easy to model being rural. That's pretty easy to do. I don't think I've got the eyesight nor the patience to play with um, too many city buildings like some folk do. I just it amazes me what they do. But right now, what's important is that the link to download all of the maps and the images and Google Earth files etc is in the description. And thanks again for watching. I'm Stephen Spry and cheers for now. <laughs>